Hey there, I'm my girl family. So, last trip of the year, totally excited. When I travel, I love experiencing a city's must-try foods. And even better if I can learn about them through passionate locals. So I'm thrilled to be partnering with Airbnb Experiences, who sent me to Rome for one of their cooking classes. I have no idea what to expect. When they said I'd be traveling to Rome, I thought of this. But I did not expect what I'm about to experience. I'm meeting up with Nona Nerina, an 83-year-old Italian grandma who opened her kitchen to share her family recipes with travelers. Palombara Sabina is a small medieval town located on a hilltop about an hour's drive from central Rome. First up, I'm gonna meet up with Chiara. Nerina's granddaughter. She's the one who got her Nona to open her kitchen to travelers. Kiara! <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. She's Tana. Like <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, the, the name of this village is Palombara Sabina. Uh huh. And we are very, very famous in that, you know, the soldiers came here, the Romans, and they wanted to start a brand new population, but you know. There were no women, oh, and they came oh. here to take all the women. It's Ratto delle Sabine. This is the Sab yeah. And oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you guys are totally prepared for Christmas too, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, everyone's like totally decorated their <laughs> the outside of their houses, yeah. huh? With all so these we'll Christmas the ornaments. You have keys to the castle. Yeah, I know it's crazy. No, it's and there's going to be a Christmas festival. Uh, there's yeah. like two things at once. <laughs> so this is where Nonna lives. Uh huh. So it's next to the castle. Here oh, you no have way. the bigger castle of the region. Uh huh. And it's, we're quite proud of it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Ciao! Buongiorno! 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 Oh, ciao! This is crazy. Today we have four grandmas. We have four grandmas. Allora, <laughs> Angelo? And Renzia. Renzia. And we have another Angela that is coming back because we forgot a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, this is for me. Oh, look at that. Wow. Being inducted right now. Ready to cook, girl. I am ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. And Angela will make some gnocchi with you know, potatoes and egg flour and then we have Nanna making the fettuccine this is a different kind of flour Nanna Angela will make the ravioli okay let's start his adventure let's go girl you must have a little three and four four eggs and four so flour and eggs really need to be mixed together so as the consistency becomes a little bit more sticky, she goes with her hands. And there's no water in this? No, no water. No salt, no oil, nothing. Wow, what kind of flour is this? This is a hard, hard wheat. And this one, it's thicker. It's more yellow. It's the hard wheat. So there's two different types of wheats that we're Yeah, because for the fettuccine, we want a little bit more consistency. Uh -huh. That's okay? this one. So the flour is thicker. With the palm of your hand, you need to roll it. Palm of my hand? Ecco. Brava! Here you have the ingredients to make the filling of the ravioli. Fresh ricotta, spinach, a pinch of salt, and then this is parmigiano. Just a little bit of nutmeg. My grandma used to tell me, always use what you have fresh.
Can you hear it? This is because she's not pressing, she's caressing it. Hearing the sound of it, seeing her movement and how rhythmic it is. It's almost like a dance also. You can see the light. Trying to push the air away. Ah, my first ravioli. Hey, bad. I'm so bad. Oh, you cheater! <laughs> you just did a little stab. <laughs> Eat three kinds of pasta soup. Such a summer. I didn't have breakfast. This is garbage day. So tell me a little bit about how Nona got started on Airbnb experiences. I took some pictures of her making pasta, and the Airbnb experience was just launching in Rome. So I submitted my idea, and Airbnb called me like two days later, and oh my god, this is amazing! Let's do it. How did she feel about having travelers or strangers come into her home? She loved it. Oh yeah. She loved it. We're telling people that our old ladies, our old people are not useless that they have such a great part of our society and that we should take care about these people and learn I feel so blessed because I have hair There's a little bit of air in this one, I must have made this one Nice Noki is basically potato, egg, and flour. Mine is with pecorino. But the other one is made with like a meat rag. It's good. It's very good. The handmade quality makes all the difference in the world. Now, when I jumped on the site and I was like searching for Nerina, like grandma, grandma cooking, um, I saw a few other grandmas with yeah. their own cooking classes. Are, are they they're part of? Are you? Yeah, this is happening. What is happening is grandmas from all around Italy are calling me, telling me I want to make pasta, me too. So there are other grandmas like from Naples or from the north of Italy uh, making their own recipes. So this is kind of like <laughs> a grandma project. It's yeah. Into. Yeah, yeah. This is nonna's. Nanas means grandmas and so yeah all of these grandmas around Italy are actually sharing opening their home Okay, so there are many grandmas out there <laughs> in different parts of Italy that you can experience cooking with and they're all part of no, no. Yeah, you just have to check the profile. There's you know, there's Nonna profile and under Nonna's profile you have all our experiences around oh. Italy Very similar to the experience that I got Yeah Is that it? Yeah, you had four <laughs> you have a lot of grandmas today. It was a surprise. Are you happy? <laughs> it was, I loved it. And it was such a general, it felt so multi generational. Right? Yeah, you know, my um, grandma is 83 and the other grandmas joining are a little bit oh younger. And if you have a tradition and it's just a tradition, it will die. But if you revive the tradition with young people, it's still alive forever, maybe. Yeah. And that's I exactly so. what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. If you're interested in cooking with Nona Nerina, um, coming out here to Palambara, Sabina, great. Check them out. I'll leave the link down below in my description box. But yeah, I I think you've seen the video so far. It's been a <laughs> exceptional once in a lifetime type of opportunity. You know. So thank you so much for that. I really enjoyed myself. Oh my gosh, I learned I so cool. much. I ate so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. As always, links in the description box below. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun, and may the girl be with you.